गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ क्रिस्टल लेटाइस क्रिस्टल लेटाइस अ क्रिस्टलाइन सॉलिड इज अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स बाय रेगुलर एंड रिपीटिंग पैटर्न ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट पार्टिकल्स सो वेन वी वॉन्ट टू रिप्रेजेंट द पोजिशन ऑफ अ पार्टिकल इन अ स्पेस एंड इफ आई वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सॉलिड ऑन अ पेपर देन the position of a particle i will represent by a dots on the paper or represented by points on the paper so these points are called lattice point so this lattice point is indicates the position of constituent particle in a crystal that particles it may be atoms ions or molecules so when i arrange these atoms along the three direction that is say along x axis along y axis and along z axis then i am going to get a one structure that complete structure which i get after extending lattice point in a three direction that is a three dimension it is called crystal lattice or space lattice so crystal lattice or space lattice is nothing but a regular three dimensional arrangement of points these points represents a position of constituent particles in a space it is called crystal lattice when we observe this crystal lattice we can clearly observe that this particular crystal lattice is formed by repeating one small unit so if you or repeat this small unit along all the three directions say x axis y axis and z axis we will get this crystal lattice so this smallest unit which on repeating i am getting the crystal lattice so that unit is called unit cell this is a one unit cell if i repeat this unit cell along x axis along y axis and along z axis i am going to get the crystal lattice so the unit cell is is nothing but it is a simplest portion of a crystal lattice which when repeated in different direction will generate entire lattices so we have seen a unit cell so unit cell is a basic component of crystal lattice so the structure of the crystal lattice is entirely depending on a nature of unit cells so we are going to learn now the different types of unit cells so broadly the unit cells are categorized into two types primitive unit cell that is also called simple unit cell and centered unit cell primitive unit cell is nothing but this is a unit cell in which particles are present only at the corner of the unit cell so you can observe in this particular diagram here the particles are present only at this corners and such unit cell is called primitive unit cell a second type is centered unit cell in this case the particles are present at the corner like a simple unit cell along with that some additional particles will occupy some other position than the corner of unit cell now based on which other position particles occupy these centered unit cell further classified into three types let us see the sub divisions of centered unit cell the sub classification of centered unit cell is entirely depending on in which places the particles will be present along with corner particles the number 1 or the first one is body centered unit cell the def name itself gives a hint body centered unit cell as we can see in this first first diagram here 
the particles are present at the corners of the unit cell along with one particle at the center of unit cell second one is a face centered unit cell as we can see in this particular diagram here the particles are present at the corners along with these corner particles particles are occupying at the center of all faces here this yellow color particle are the corner particle and pink color particles are face centered particle so in this particular face this is a face center particle in this particular face this is a face center particle in this particular face this is a face center particle and so on so normally in one unit cell there are and let me assume that our unit cell is a cubic in nature if our unit cell is a cubic in nature then the total number of corner particles which are possible are 8 that is a four corner particles at the top and four corner particles at bottom along with that in this one unit cell generally contain six faces so it has six face centered particle so one is left right front back top and bottom so total six face centered particles and eight corner particles are present in this st structure of face centered cubic unit cell third one is a end centered unit cell so this end centered unit cell is a modified version of face centered unit cell so in this case the particles are present at the corners along with only two face centered particles are present which occupies opposite planes so in case of face centered cubic unit cell particles are present at the corners along with the center of all the faces but here only two face centered particles are present and these two faces are opposite to one another so in this particular diagram as we can observe there are eight red color particles which are occupying at the corners and two face centered particles which are lies in opposite direction that is we called as end centered unit cell thank you